Hi, let's see the single server queuing problem in computer simulation and modeling. The single server queuing is a mathematical study of waiting in lines and queues. In queuing, model is constructed so that the queue lengths and waiting time can be predicted. Single server consists of server and a queue for arrival and departure of the data in the queue. Now, this is the diagrammatic representation that it's a single server queue. It has a queue and a server where the data goes from queue to the server as and when there's an arrival and after processing in this single server data, the departure is done. Now, let's take an example. For the following data, find the queue statistics, time in minutes. IAT denotes the inter-arrival time and ST denotes the service time. Assume the first customer arrives at time t is equal to 0. This is a table which is given. So, with the queue statistics of arrival and departure, how we calculate using the single server queuing problem and the algorithm. Let's say this is the table that we have created. The parameters that we are going to consider is the inter-arrival time which is abbreviated as IAT the arrival time, the service time, the time the service will begin, the time the service will end, the time customer waits in the queue, the time customer spends in the system and the time the system remains ideal. These is a, this is the table which needs to be created and filled for this particular problem. Now IAT has been given to us in the problem statement so we write it as it is over here in the table. So 8, 6, 1, 8, 3, 8, 7, 2 and 3. IAT for the first customer is blank. So we see we have 10 customers over here. And so for inter-arrival time, we have built up this table and we found in the end the sum of it which is 46. So the total inter-arrival time is 46. Now we have to find out the arrival time. The arrival time initially for the first customer it is said to be taken as 0. And the next customer arrives at 8. So we've written the inter arrival so the arrival time for the second customer is 8. Now let's find out what is the arrival time for the other customers. As the second customer arrives at 8 and the next customer is the inter arrival time is 6. So the arrival time will be 8 plus 6, which will be 14 here. For the first customer, it will be 14 plus 1, it will be 15 over here. And then it is 15 plus 8, it will be 23 over here. 23 plus 3 is 26. 26 plus 8 is 34. 34, I'm sorry. 34 plus 7 is 41. 41 plus 2 is 43. 43 plus 3 is 46. So you will see the arrival time is 46 and the summation is also 46. So this is the cumulative distribution that we've got over here. And the next we'll see is what is the service time it is given to us. Service time was provided to us in the question so that we've written as it is. And then in the end we found out the total service time that is the addition of all the numbers over here. Now let's start with solving this particular problem. Now the time service begins for the first one is 0. Service ends is 0. The time customer waits in queue is 4. What is the time customer waits in queue? Is why is it 4? Because the total service time it needs is 4. So it is over here. And the time customer spends in system is also 4. So and the ideal time, because it is an initial system, it is 0. The time customer spends in the system is the service time. It is 4 over here. Now let's go to the next customer. Now this is the second customer. As my system customer is spending 4 minutes at the system, but the arrival time for my second customer over here is 8. So for how much time is my system remaining ideal? See, I have spent here 4, 4 and here it is arrival time is 8. So 8 minus 4, my system remained ideal for 4. So the time system remained ideal, 4 will come over here. Now what time the service will begin? As it has spent 4, it has to start, the arrival time is 8. So the service will begin at 
8. Now service begins at 8. For how much time the customer has to wait in queue? It is 8 plus 1. That is the time it needs to be there on the system. So it waits in the queue for 9. If you take this as minutes, then we can call it that customer waits in queue for 9 minutes. And how much time does the customer spends in the system is whatever the service time over here. So it is 1. Now let's go to the next system. The time service ends is 0. The next time, what happens when the third customer comes? Now, why is the ideal time 5 over here? See, this customer, the second customer was waiting in the queue was 9. The total time it spent was 9 minutes. After it finished the job in 9 minutes, the third customer arrival time is 14. So how much for how much time was my system remaining ideal is 14 minus 9 which is 5. So here is the ideal time for which my system remained ideal is 5 minutes let it take. Let's take it. Now 14. So the service will begin at what time? The arrival time is 14. So the service will begin at the time 14. And when how much time the customer has to wait in the queue? That will be arrival time plus the service time. So it is 18 over here. Now why, what time the service ends it is 0? Because arrival time plus service time I needed 18. And how much time I had to wait in the queue is also 18. So service will end at a particular time. So it is 0. Now let's go and how much time customer spends at the system is 4. Whatever is the service time was needed. Now let's go to the next. As my this is ending the customer waits in the queue is for 18. Now let's see what happens when the fourth customer comes. That is, when this customer comes, what happens? Let's go to the next slide. See, this weights in the queue was 18 over here. Its arrival time for the fourth customer is 15. This has taken more time. Arrival time was 15. So my system remained ideal for 0 minutes. So that's the reason I've got 0 over here. Now, what time the service will begin? Because it had to, arrival time is 15, but my previous customer in the queue has taken 18. So my this service will begin at 18 and not at 15. And how much time does it ne need to end the service? It was service time is, it has service time of 3. So 18 plus 3 is 21. So customer waits in the queue is 18 plus 3, which is 21. So how much time the customer spends on the system? It's service time of 3 and the time the service ends is 3. So 3 plus 3 is 6. So that much time it spends on the system. And this customer waits in the queue. The total time is now 21. Now let's see what happens when this particular customer comes into the service. That is customer 5. Here it waits in the queue. Last was 21. This arrival time is 23. So the difference is 2. So the system remained ideal for 2 minutes. The arrival time, the service begins at 23. Whatever time was its arrival time, it began at 23. 23 plus 2 is the customer waits over here. Now what time the service will end? It needed 23 plus 2, 25 and it has ended on 25. So this particular value is 0. Customer spends how many minutes? 2 were needed, it has spent now let's go what happens when the customer 6 comes. 25 is what it waits in the queue. 26 is the arrival time. So ideal time the system remains ideal is 1. Time service begins at 26. Now 26 plus 4 the customer waits in queue is 30. Now this is why it is 0 because it needed 26 plus 4 30. It has used 30 and how much time it needs on the system is the service time which was needed that is 4. Now what happens when customer 7 comes? 30 is what I needed over here. 34 is the arrival time of customer 7. So the ideal time for the system, the system remained ideal is 4. 30 plus 5, sorry, 34 plus 5 is 39. So customer waits in the queue for 39. Our service begins at 34. It had to finish plus 34 plus 5. It had finished for 34 plus 5 is 39 and spends on the system as 5. 
Now what happens when the customer it comes? 39 the arrival time is 41 over here 41 now this is 39 41 there's a difference of two the system remained idle for two minutes and the service begins at 41 41 plus 4 custom it's in queue for 45 so the service ends 0 and the service time is 4 customer spends time is 4 let's see what happens when customer 9 comes this customer waits in queue for 45 the arrival time for the ninth customer is 43 so there's no ideal time it remains 0 43 but this service begins at 45 45 and with this 45 we add up the service time so it is 50 over here the customer waits in queue for 50 now what is the service time it will end on why is it 50 because it waited for so long so, so customer waits in queue for 50 its arrival time was 43 so 50 minus 43 is 7 the service time needed was 5 but customer spends 7 minutes so the service ends is 2 minutes later than whatever was the service time now the last one the arrive the way customer waits in queue for the ninth it is 50 minutes the arrival time for the tenth customer was 46 so the ideal is zero but it has to arrive at a service had to begin at 46 but now service is beginning at 50 so what happens now 50 plus 3 so customer has to wait in queue for 53 now what, why is it 53 now it is 53 here customer is waiting spending that much arrival time was 46 so 53 minus 46 the customer is spending 7 minutes whereas the service time given was 3 so 7 minus 3 the service time ends 4 minutes later this is how my table gets completed now let's find out the total values now total service time is 35 the time service ends it is 9 that is the waiting period the time customer spends on system total is 44 and the time the system remain ideal is 18 so let's start computing our final answer average waiting time for the customer is 9 divided by 10 why is it 9 divided by 10 because the time here the service is ending this was the waiting time it is 9 and total number of customers is 10 so it is 9 divided by 10 probability of customer has to wait is 3 divided by 10 what is it why the probability of customer had to wait this was a three customer who had to wait one two and three so how many customers had to wait were three so that is the reason probability of customer had to wait was three divided by ten is point three probability of ideal server for the time the server remained ideal we have calculated here it is 18 okay and why is it 53 because what happens is the total time the customer spends is here 53 so it is 18 divided by 53 which gives me 0 0.34 average service time is here the service time average we've calculated it is 35 total number of customers are 10 so 3.5 average time between the arrivals is 46 divided by 9 why is it 46 divided by 9 because first one we've taken it blank so total was 46 so 46 divided by 9 is 5.1 one waiting time for the customer is 9 divided by 3 as the total waiting time given is 9 and there were three customers who were waiting so 9 divided by 3 is 3 time spent on the system is 44 by 10 so this is the total time the customer spends is 44 and total number of customers are 10 so 4.4 the maximum queue length is 1 because we're taking a single server queuing thank you